Hi, it's Delicia, and today we're going to be taking a look at this Diamond Crown cigar. This is a Dominican made, a collaboration between the Newman family and the Fuente family. And this particular size is actually exclusive to a cigar lounge, a Diamond Crown lounge, of course, in Panama City Beach, Florida, which is where this little baby came from. Exquisitely aged. Uh, the wrapper on this is a beautiful Connecticut shade, as you may have be able to see. But this particular one is aged about five years before even released, you know, out for people to smoke. So it's wonderfully made and the production on it is spot on, of course. Fun little shape, as I mentioned, this little Figurado. And again, this particular shape and size is made only for that particular lounge in Panama City Beach, Florida. So I'm going to go ahead and get this little baby cut up and lit up. This cigar is pretty mild, um, in fact, very mild for my particular taste, but it is good once in a while. Um, I do enjoy normally a little bit stronger cigar, but every so often it's nice, especially with a cup of coffee or, you know, earlier in the day, in the morning. In this case, um, it's early afternoon and I have an event to go to tonight, so I'm going to be smoking a lot of cigars, so I figured I'd start out kind of light today and begin that way. Excellent flavor. In spite of being fairly mild, it still produces a nice amount of flavors and aroma, and we'll get into those in a second. Go ahead and get this lid. doesn't need a lot of toasting. It has that smaller little um, foot on it, so... Mm. just has a warm cedar finish to it like immediately it's very good and the you know the wrapper on it is really pretty too again with a Connecticut shade it's a very pretty golden color there's a light oil sheen to it and it's just very nice construction very minimal veins you can see a little bit of the leaf definition but definitely not any heavy veins to this at all just it's it's a babied type of a leaf it's beautiful very pretty good aroma that it's putting out Just so mild, it's 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 such a creamy, buttery type of a smoke. It's just really a nice treat, especially for me. Again, I'm used to smoking a lot of Maduros, a lot of heavier cigars, and again, every so often it's a nice change of pace just to kind of pull out something that has that extremely creaminess to it. Um, again, more on the mild side, but still just delivering a nice amount of flavor. Predominantly cedar, getting a little bit of um kind of a vanilla sweetness to it, just a hint of it, but very creamy. So I'm gonna smoke it down and I'll check back in with you and let you know how things go. So getting past the first third of the diamond crown, you can see this beautiful ash is just holding on extremely steady, very stable, providing a nice open draw. Again, excellent construction coming out of the Tabacalera Fuente in the Dominican Republic where these cigars are made. And just a wonderful taste. Um, hasn't changed a whole lot since when I started, again, providing a very creamy, uh, slightly sweet, a little bit of kind of like a vanilla sweetness little hint of a nuttiness as well that's kind of come into play off and on but predominantly just a creamy kind of like a toast uh, flavor as well again very mild but still delivering a nice amount of flavor so very good in my book I'm really enjoying it and I've been reading this article hmm. there was a nice article written um, in the Cigar and Spirits magazine and it was an interview with Eric and Bobby Newman and just, um, you know, fabulous history. If you're not as familiar, you know, per se with, I know you, I'm sure you've heard of the brand, but the history with this family, I don't know how many people are familiar with how old they've been in the business. I mean, they've been making cigars 
the grandfather, J.C. Newman, began in 1895 in a little barn in Ohio, um, here in the United States, of course, and I mean, the family's just been booming since then. It's been, it's, it's rare, and it's also just a beautiful thing to see, you know, a family-owned business that's thrived and that's managed to stay, you know, on top all this time throughout, um, just throughout, God, the course of several, several years. I mean, just incredible. So again, really good article, a lot of cool information, very informative, gives you a little bit of the history, um, also some personal things. Again, um, if you haven't seen it, it's in an older issue, but I collect magazines, so I always have a nice amount on hand, but you can also read the article online at cigarandspirits.com. But um, just, a, you know, again, very informative and interesting. It talks about how they came together with the Fuente family, of course, where all their cigars are made at the factory. So if you um, want to, you know, pick up or, um, you know, catch some information on that, definitely check out that article. It's very interesting. I enjoyed it. So it's a good um, article to read while you're smoking the cigar, of course. But I'm going to continue to smoke this down a little bit. I did, when I pulled the band off, I tore a little bit. It came off with the with the glue that was on there. came off a, a little bit of the wrapper, but it's not really affecting anything. It hasn't done anything other than just it's not as pretty to look at on that particular part. But other than that, everything is great. Um, again, smoking wonderfully. And I'm going to smoke it down to the finish, and I'll check back in with you one last time. So coming into the last little bit here of this um, diamond crown, as you can see, I've been hanging on to this ash. Look at that thing. I don't know what it is about us cigar smokers, but it's like if you have like a, I don't know, the unspoken competition on who can get the longest ash, but it's so cool. I haven't wanted to, to tap it out at all. And look at that. I mean, it's pretty sturdy. It's not flimsy, very solid, just again, defines excellent construction that's coming out of the Fuente factory, which is no surprise at all. Um, again, in the Dominican Republic, um, a beautiful facility. And just an excellent cigar. Again, it's a nice change of pace for me. I normally smoke a lot more of the fuller bodies, especially of the Maduro uh, wrappers. And this is a nice change every so often to throw in a, a milder cigar with, again, still a lot of flavor, but this is actually a wonderful cigar. I get a lot of questions and comments from those of you who are cigar smokers that are maybe have a, a wife or girlfriend that are wanting to try out, you know, they're kind of new to cigar smoking basically and they always ask for, you know, what should they try and what's a good starting point. This is an excellent cigar to start with. If you've never smoked a cigar, this is going to actually turn you on to continue smoking versus some of these other ones that even though they're not as strong, they might not have really good flavor and so you might smoke it for the first time and you might not enjoy it. You might just say like, oh, okay, it doesn't leave any impression in you. This one, however, will definitely grab your attention. It's gonna leave you, you know, wanting to, to continue to smoke cigars, which is what the goal is, I think. So this is a definitely a, a cigar that you're gonna wanna try out if you're new to smoking, or again, if you want something that's a little bit more on the mild side, excellent creaminess to it, just really coats the palate with a nice butter flavor. Um, again, keeping that toastiness, little hint of nuttiness. There was a shift in the beginning. There was a light white pepper and it kind of towards the end now has gone into a little bit of a stronger kind of a black pepper, but very good. Again, all those flavors are very muted. They're not too strong. It's just a nice way to enjoy, you know, in morning or even early afternoon, especially with a coffee. In my case, I'm going to be smoking, you know, more cigars this evening. So I wanted to have something just a little bit lighter. Uh, this afternoon so this is a great choice and again I got this particular one from PCB Cigars this is an exclusive size that's made for their lounge and you can find this particular size there um, you can go on their website you can call them over the phone or you can go on to the Diamond Crown um, website and you can find a list of retailers that carry you know a variety of sizes in this particular blend what I liked about it um, especially was the fact that this cigar um, this blend was created Again, as a, as a tribute, as honor, you know, to the company, um, to the founder for the 100th anniversary. And I love stuff like that, you know, anything that's, again, family oriented. It's just, it's a wonderful thing when you see people making cigars that are, hey, this is for my dad, this is for his 100th 
birthday. I mean, how many people can say that? That's just wonderful. So excellent cigar. Um, I really enjoyed it. I hope you get a chance to try it. I'm sure those of you who have been smoking a long time have probably already smoked it. If you're, again, if you're new to smoking, definitely go pick one up. You will not be disappointed. And as always, I thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and to check out the website. There's a entry for a free trip to Nicaragua, so don't forget to visit that, and hope to see you there.